Hello my creative friends. Today I'm going to try and attempt to replicate a cloud effect pour that Mel D recently popped up on her channel and it's a gorgeous fluffy kind of effect and she gets it by adding some enamel into her white. So I might just spray my 10 by 10 because we all know I love to tighten up my canvas and do a little bit of a drum before we start. That'll dry up in a minute. And we'll just go through our colors. I'm using Birch Forest, even though it's not white, it's an off-white. And what I've added to that for the cloud effect that Mel D talks about is this gloss enamel. Come on, go into focus, there we go. And we'll see if this works because I can't get my hands on art deco stuff or deco art stuff easily in Australia unless I send away for it and I can't be bothered waiting. I just wanted to get on with this experiment. We're using a warm yellow where she used an ochre. I'm using phyllo green and I'm using copper but I added also into that a little bit of pearlix antique copper to make it a little bit darker and I'm not sure if you can actually see the difference um, no you can't because when I've added the pouring medium up it's sort of lightened again but by adding the um, antique copper into the the general copper I've got a bit more of a bronze so the principle is doing a ring pour followed by a ring pour and the first one's heavier in white and the second one the paints float off and it has a beautiful effect well it did for Mel D so let's see if I can do that too shall we start awesome sawsome that sit for about 10 minutes and while I'm doing while that's sitting there for 10 minutes I'll just go around and cover these edges um, one thing I've observed straight away is that I didn't make my pouring medium or my whole consistency 
thin enough so I've missed out on having that beautiful cloudy effect because it needs to be thinner nonetheless um, I also didn't use enough paint as you would have observed in the first part where I went around and did a second ring pour but gee I'm really enjoying the effects and what's coming out anyhow so whilst it's not um, exactly what we were hoping for which was a replication and of course that was foolish to think that we can ever get a total replication anyway hey but how happy am I with the outcome so far super happy so see you in about 20 minutes now, Mel D didn't torch hers but I'm going to because I just can't help it I've let it sit for about 10 minutes and I'm going to do a torch and let it sit for another 10 before I do the last tilt here we go for the torching let's see if we can see any bubbles pop train that was happy traveling everyone yep a fair few bubbles pop so I'm happier with that I'm really excited with this because the paint itself was extra smooth and I'm sure that's the enamel effect I'm really excited to do this next tilt um, and stretch these colors out and I'm also really excited to redo this experiment already knowing that if I make my paint thinner I'm more likely to get that beautiful blooming effect so okay see All you right. again in 10. it's been that extra bit of time now and i'm just gloving up and we're going to do this last bit of tilting and stretching out of the paint and really happy with it anyway as it is but as i was saying before really looking forward to cool oh goodness me i'm just gonna have to fix that up so that get back on off just put my fingers all into the beautiful sides all right here we go I'm gonna go that way and then back over into here certainly did not get nearly as much white as Mel got, but I know it's simply because my mix was not nearly as thin as hers. And so I think we'll do this again tomorrow and we'll use the same colors and see how we go with it. But isn't it gorgeous? You know, well, ring paws are always so ridiculously satisfying. Can you see that side? I mean, oh, divine. All right. I don't actually like my middle. It looks a bit like a, um, I don't know. I think I might try and tilt it off a bit more just to try and get that hook. Oh my God, you know what it looks like. Holy heck, let's get rid of it. Bye. Oh my goodness me. I'm stretching it much more than I um, anticipated, but that was super ugly, don't you reckon? All right, that's that gone. Well, it was a huge amount of paint that we've used but nonetheless I still think it's a gorgeous outcome and this is going to be one stunning basic piece it wasn't really that basic all right well now I'm just crapping on and being silly so I'm going to cover it and we'll come and check it um, in a day or two or and I'll show you when it's dry Happy pouring, my friends! Da -da. Oh, here we are a few days later. And, oh, I've got some stickage. Oh, sorry, there we go. Don't you just love those beautiful colors, the way that they've come in? I love that phyllo green. 
but we didn't get any of those beautiful blooming cloud cells but I got myself some uh, different um, enamel still haven't got the art deco I'm gonna order some because I couldn't help myself can I actually show you what I did use where is it I used that yeah it doesn't sound so promising does it but I got myself some different enamel like enamel from the oh I thought that was like a coat of resin but it's just water my granddaughter's been visiting um yeah I just got some resin from oh, not resin pardon me I got some white enamel paint from the paint shop I'm going to give that a whirl and I am going to order some art deco or deco art white enamel satin that Mel D use because I do want to get that effect it's so freaking awesome I just want to get it now because I've set myself the personal challenge so I do like this I particularly like the sides do you like my little cup there stuck to it you know they just flick off oh well it's not going to do it now that I'm showing you but yeah I like my um coppery bronze in with that yellow so what do we call it once again I've done it oh by the way I fiddled with that because my um drying thing I, oh, I had an accident with it so that's why that corner's all messed up so I probably will re-pour on this just because it's ruined because of that corner nonetheless it's still very 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 nice I think I'm going to start gessoing my um canvases a bit more I don't like how textured that is coming through but that's a whole other story isn't it all right happy pouring everyone happy happy pouring